Alright, so here we are. Hello, not Ubisoft. Absturga. Assassin's Creed Rogue. Assassin's Creed Rogue. Shiny. Wow. I would say right off the bat, I just see this this uh this logo right here, and I'm just like kind of blown away already. Believe it or not, um, just because it's so different. It looks so different than like it's like an Assassin's Creed Templar, from what I'm hearing, uh, crossover thing. So I think it's gonna be really cool. I especially like this intro. Um, not the intro, but like the menu. Um, so you got your basics. Yeah, there's some options, but uh, who cares about those? I don't have Xbox Live. I'd like to get it though, sometime. Uh, Alright, so let's just start the game. You know what we're gonna call this, right? Let me see if you can guess. I love this music too. I really like the the music that they used. Oops. All those little spaces. Okay. Let's just make the eagle. <laughs> it's normal loading kind of. I'm glad they didn't go with like the Assassin's Creed loading. I didn't like the Assassin's Creed loading at all. Because it was like all blinding white and just sucked. Um but as you can tell I'm kinda sick so I'll make this the best I can it takes place in the Arctic you think it? stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent hide in plain sight oh yeah Never that is gonna be my intro right there Oh yeah, these are that the is it. That's the creed. that's got me written all the over it. Eagle, I like flying through by. stuff. Assassin's Creed. I was I'm sold. Ten out of ten already. Just the seven ten years out of ten war right now. was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is now. Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. So this is for the Xbox 360, believe it or not. And they are really pushing the limitations of the 360 with the new Assassin's Creed. Right. Just well, diving you right in. Don't like the fireworks, at least. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. Like it already. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no, that was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. <laughs> Let's head back. Some combat. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Captain Deliver Andre and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? Slowpoke. I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier yeah, decided understand. not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are, but this is business. It doesn't concern yeah, you, Shay. Even though I don't know who Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye oh. on you in case you fall oh down gosh. and hurt yourself. You almost pushed me off. Nice job. Eagle! Hello! Synchronize with the force. Sir. Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. That's pretty good. Where the hell were you two? 
We were out hunting. What happened here? Our men were attacked, attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Derandry. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well, well then, cool. feel educated! I will teach you some manners, boy. Oh, shit, just got real. I will teach you some manners, boy. I think everyone's just chill. Around me, they're just watching, they're like, yep, okay. You simpleton. You rot brained cabbage farmer. Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat her wounded. <laughs> Take these. You'll need them. Ooh. It's a little different than Assassin's Creed 4. Got a small dagger and a sword. I don't know if I like that better. Because that means you got like one one you could just use for like, blocking care, Shay. No one could attack. The Royal and, Navy be ready for rather us. Than two swords. Remember your training. Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. I mean, Where are you now, bad. you bilge rat? Uh, Talk before I pass. I'll hear you when I'm talking. That's my question. Keep an eye out, lads. The battle is still out there somewhere. There he goes again. Okay, what do I have? Oh, well, it doesn't look like I have any other gear. Oh, there's two of them? Okay. Come on, then. <laughs> There's one left. Oh, there is. Thank you. I like how I didn't do anything. Well, that's cool. Now I got the sound wave, so you can see like who can hear it. They can't really hear it, I guess. I can pull up from behind them. I better be able to do a double take down. Lucha dead body. Many thanks. I thought I'd be here. Uh, treasure map somewhere. Happy hunting, lads. Chat just be a treasure map washed up on shore. Who is a ship? Pulls it back. I feel like. Going up there to get that chest, but I think I'll do it later. I don't know. I'd rather just I'll do it later. I bet I'll come back to here at some point. I threw it untapped. Now I'm wondering. Well, that's just for like the full hundred percent thing. I'm wondering how to really like remain stealthy here. I guess I could like maybe I could take him overboard. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna notice me come over here. There's blood on the streets and I don't see the killer. <laughs> hey. Yep, <laughs> nobody heard that. <laughs> Back to the ground where ya. Good line on him! 
I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheikh. I'm thinking of useless. Those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. Ooh. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. I thought it was French. You heard, Chevalier? You know, if I wasn't That's sick, I could be a really good French accent. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. All right, so we should we'll get crew. back into the I'm not so certain the about their captain, but next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, I will say there is some different even this beautiful uh, one. Improvement Smiling. since Elm the ship. Assassin's Creed 3 oh, and 4 pile days. of garbage, uh, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. I remember this. I remember how fire cannons have been that long. Indeed, mate. She's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Still a fairy queen of Lord Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for me, Shane. Yes, okay. sir. So, it looks like there's a bunch of ships. Oh, uh, I think that's a sweet one. Oh, they will sink her! Ready for battle, man! I don't know who would be a guest of I want followers to go. Stop them, boy! Stop you. All sails loose! Fire! Ah, to the floor! I get him. Ready to Fire. hit him! Ah. Oh, I'm oh. to pieces! I know, you're to shit. Oh, I may have actually shot your ship, sir. Sorry. Don't the top, citizen gallants! But... Oh, so My hard. ship! Your ship? Who's no that? My sir. ship? My ass! Don't do it! Don't do it! You get it! I'm gonna kill you! Okay. Okay. Oh, last one. One last one. Fire! Oh, this vessel is battle ready after all! I will return to what is left of the airport. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads! Chevalier is pleased with us! I love the shanties. Or canties. What like course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. So peaceful. Assassin's Creed World. Assassin's Creed Road. <laughs> what the hell did you do? I didn't touch it. Some kind of that was him. Virus? That wasn't me. Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working. Check. 
You were just an anonymous. Was I? Anonymous, yes? Ah, I could spell. You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work oh. for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Do I? Any of this ringing a bell? Nope. Your session triggered nope. something bad and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. Sucks to be you. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Uh -huh. Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get that out of here. That could be fun playing video games. Follow me. Double time. This Double chaos time. is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Fault. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. I remember Your job is to prevent like... things like this. We need to contain these genetic mm. memories, then we can destroy them. No. Nope. The red person. I, I want to think study she's these the memories. Last one. But. With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're going to work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Hello, Violet. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! <laughs> go us. Righteous. Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the this main service. This is the annoying basement. part of Assassin's Creed. Like, if they literally had an Assassin's Creed game where you just stay and in the past. The designed this virus is I a genius. <laughs> Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Site There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm walking urgently. And I'm walking. Do you see a flashing wireless signal? I do, I do. I'll connect your animus workstation you back to you. Cat. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Good job. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. You fix your computer by playing the video. That Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal. That of peace. Our only difference was how we chose peace to achieve Peace, flowers, and rainbows. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, Surely the same can be said for other assassins. Oh. Uh, 
Hi, Jake. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure dog. you're supposed to see that. Just uh, I'll let you out. You should just get back to your animus. With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. Now that you have unlocked Shay Cormac's memories, we stand on the brink of a grand discovery. I know you must have questions about your new assignment, or about me. For now, all I will say is that Shay's story contains the answers. Shay will lead you to a greater understanding. So I think this is where we're going to leave off episode 1, so I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in episode 2, which will be out very soon. So this is Lucas Eagle signing out, hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and leave in the comments below your thoughts on Assassin's Creed Rogue. I'm really enjoying it a lot, and I think you would too, so check it out, uh, it's probably 50, 50, 60 bucks uh, right now. So, see ya.